Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk, um, on his read with the situation with Kevin Stefanski and the Browns. Coach of the Year thing. I think we did the Coach of the Year draft last week, right? We did. Coach of we the did. Year isn't us. best Coach that of the me. Year. It's the it's the biggest surprise of the year. Kevin Stefanski has won the biggest surprise of the year twice. It's weird to think that the defending biggest surprise coach of the year is embattled, but he is. He is. They are. I don't know what the Haslam's are going to do after the season. I don't know if they're going to keep Kevin Stefanski. I don't know who they're going to blame for this mess, but we know that bad owners don't blame themselves. With that, let's welcome in Spencer German, 92.3 The Fan, Cleveland Browns on SI. And uh, Spencer, I, I know you've, you've written a couple articles um, uh, on, uh, on the Stefanski situation. You know, Vrabel on the sidelines in New Orleans, everybody trying to figure out what that means. Um, Kevin Stefanski has downplayed it, but just kind of your whole thoughts on Kevin Stefanski's future. Yeah, I think the variable thing is interesting. Um, I can understand why, you know, that sort of percolated in, in people's pur purview in terms of, you know, or peripheral vision in terms of like, oh, why is this kind of happening? Especially considering at the start of training camp, Vrabel was on the record basically saying like, no, I don't have a roll on game day. You know, I'm I'm just kind of more of in a supporting, supporting staff position. And then all of a sudden he's showing up uh, at home games uh, he's traveling to the Saints game this past weekend, and he's got an earpiece in, and it's like, okay, so what is he actually doing? Um, but I, I, don't, I really, I think a lot of that's been overblown to this point. Not to say that when we get deeper in the season, if things keep going awry, that the Haslam's won't at least, you know, flirt with the idea in their minds of like, yeah, what if we did pivot to to Mike Vrabel? We already got him in the building. Um, but I just don't think like Kevin made it pretty clear that the decision to keep him on the sidelines or give him more roles on game day sort of stem from them having conversations and, you know, them ag agreeing that that was where he was wanted and needed on a specific day. So I tend to believe Kevin Stefanski when he says that, I don't think this was like an ownership, like, Oh, we need Mike Vrabel's presence more on the sideline. I think this was kind of just Stefanski going through his process and evaluating and figuring out where he could help more. Um, so I do think that's interesting though. And the fact that he's in the building and there's starting to be rumors about him being linked to other teams. It makes you wonder if if it crosses the Haslam's mind. I do think what Mike Florio said at the end of that clip there about, you know, bad owners don't blame themselves. And listen, I, I think there's a case to be made that like the Haslam's have they they tried to invest in this team and and push it over the limit to be a Super Bowl contender when they made the Deshaun Watson trade. But I think you can also look back on the history of them owning this team and realize that a lot of it's been bad decision making. And so I think that's probably fair. Um, and I think that's the biggest reason why sitting here today, I would tell you, I don't think Kevin Stefanski is getting fired. Um, I, I can't say the same necessarily about Andrew Barry. I think he might be in, in line to sort of be the one who falls on the sword here. Um, and there's some conversation to have off of that. But I, I think Kevin Stefanski is going to be here next year. But at the same time, if this season continues going the way it's going, I think the Haslam's are unpredictable. Like you, you just never know what they're going to decide to do what, when, or if they're going to pull the plug. And so it kind of remains this big mystery, dark cloud hanging over the franchise until the season ends. Yeah. And, and you know, in, in fairness to the Haslam's, I can't believe I just said that, but earlier <laughs> in their tenure as ownership, they were pretty impulsive. They poured a lot of money. And, and again, we're, we're never we're not going to know until years down the line exactly what the Deshaun Watson decision was. If that was yeah. the ownership kind of getting involved in it, other than, yeah, we'll find a way to pay him, then we got some issues. But, uh, again, we'll see.